my, my question is, my daughter was involved in a wreck uh, a year ago from yesterday. It was February, February 25th, 2011. Uh, on 459, she was hit by a hit-and-run driver. Can you hear me? Yes, yes, we can. Okay, she was hit by a hit-and-run driver. Uh, it was in work hour traffic. The car hit her from the back end. Her car started flipping. She went into the guardrail there right before we get to the Galleria. Okay. Totaled her car out. I mean, she was lucky to be alive, so I was very thankful for that. But uh, what we ran into in the meantime, her car insurance company did not want to pay her car off. And her car, we'd only had it about a year. So they didn't want to give us the value on her car, and they told me I had to make a settlement then. They had to know something. So I went ahead and I settled up with them, but we still have other things that are pending. I just spoke with my rep uh, two days ago and told him that the, she's got to have knee surgery. Uh, doctor, uh, I don't think I'm supposed to mention the doctor's name, but uh, anyway, one of the doctors here in Birmingham has already done two knee surgeries on her knee. She had just came out of physical therapy in hey, January. Janet, do you That's have an attorney, or are you just working with your insurance company? I'm sorry, what now? Do you have a uh, representation? Do you have an attorney, or, you're, or are you just working with your insurance company? Yes, my insurance company. Okay. Do not have an attorney. Okay. So what are your thoughts here in... Well, this, I think we can dispose of this pretty quickly. You need to get a lawyer. Mm. You need to get one in a hurry. First of all, they've lied to you about your car. You had six years to settle that claim, breach mm -hmm. your contract, if it's your insurance company. And with those kind of damages, they've already put you on notice that they're, they're trouble. They're not dealing with you in good faith. They're not going to make you a decent offer on that personal injury. Get to a competent lawyer. Call Ken Riley and let <laughs> him deal with them. Yeah. I mean, that's the answer to it. Yeah. yeah. Well, okay. and, and there are certain things that uh, attorneys can do with the, ho hopefully, and it sounds like you do have health care insurance. A lot of times, uh, our clients don't have health care insurance, uh, but if you do have health care insurance, there are things that attorneys can do to, uh, instead of just pay for the medical bills, to also pay for those things that are coming down the road. So that's the value that, uh, in your situation, that an attorney can lend. And what if she doesn't have money to, to have representation at this point, though, if she's like, you know, I just can't simply afford it? Bob, how do you handle these type cases? I send them to you if they're Birmingham. <laughs> it's a contingency contract. Yeah. Explain you don't, what that is. Yeah, yeah you don't have to have any money. Okay. You go to the lawyer, it's a partnership. If they win, like if Ken wouldn't take any money unless he gets you money. Okay. And it's a great deal. In fact, it's so good, the insurance companies are trying to stop it. Mm -hmm. yeah. That tells you all you need to know. All right. Well, good luck.